Hi guys! Today we're making an authentic but simple biryani, meat and rice layered in a pot. A hearty dish that everyone loves. Start with two cups of washed and drained basmati rice. Pour three cups of water over it and soak for 30 minutes. For the spices, you can use a store-bought mix. I'm using coriander, cinnamon, cloves, cardamom, fennel seeds, star anise and black peppercorns. I put them in a coffee grinder and it takes just 20 seconds to make a fragrant spice mix. For the meat, a bit over two pounds or one kilogram of lamb or mutton. I'm using boneless leg of lamb cut into one and a half inch pieces. Mutton is fine, it'll just take longer to cook. To cook the lamb, we'll need a large yellow onion sliced, one tablespoon grated ginger and one and a half tablespoons grated garlic, ground turmeric and red chili powder, one cup of plain whole milk yogurt, ghee and coriander leaves. To get that classic yellow color, a half a teaspoon of saffron threads soaked in a quarter cup of hot water. These are two large yellow onions sliced very thin to make crispy onions. You can still make this simple biryani without the saffron and crispy onions. We'll cook the lamb first, heat up a pot and add oil, the sliced onions, a little salt, cook until golden brown. Add the grated ginger and garlic. Stir and cook just for a minute. Then add the meat, ground spices, salt, mix it all really well and cook for five minutes. Add three quarters of a teaspoon of ground turmeric and red chili powder. Stir and cook for five more minutes. Whisk the yogurt smooth and add some of it to the lamb. Stir well. And add some more. Stir and add the rest. Cook this for five minutes. Then cover the pot and cook until tender. While the lamb is cooking, make the crispy onions. Heat up a wide pan and add ghee. You can use a combination of oil and ghee to fry the onions. Add the onions, a little salt, cook stirring often until they're golden brown. This'll take about 25 minutes. It'll be done before the lamb is cooked, so you save time. Drain the onions and set aside on a plate. Check the lamb in between and add hot water a half a cup at a time if you need to. Since I'm using boneless lamb, I didn't need to add any water. When the lamb is completely cooked, there should be a little bit of gravy. It'll be thick and coat the lamb. About 15 minutes before the lamb is cooked, make the rice. Heat up about six cups of water with whole spices like cardamom, cloves, cinnamon, and bay leaves. When the water is at a full boil, add one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon ghee, and the drained rice. I also like to add a teaspoon of lemon juice. Stir this well and bring up to a boil. Now it's at a full boil, cook for five to seven minutes. The rice should be half cooked. Drain the rice. The saffron has been soaking and look at that gorgeous yellow orange color. To layer the dish, use a heavy bottomed pot with a tight lid. I'm using an enameled cast iron pot. Put half of the meat on the bottom of the pot, then half the rice, the rest of the meat, and the rice. Spread the rice out evenly. Make a few deep holes with the handle of a wooden spoon. Pour the saffron liquid in the holes. The saffron threads can go on top. Sprinkle one tablespoon of ghee all over. 
Cover tightly and cook on very low heat for approximately 15 minutes or until the rice is tender. Check at 10 minutes and keep cooking if the rice is not done. Sprinkle the crispy onions all over and the fresh chopped cilantro leaves. Put your spoon all the way to the bottom and see the yellow and white rice, soft meat, crispy onions and cilantro. The meat is tender and delicious. I hope you like this recipe and give it a try. Subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.